Goldie the fish. It is a lovely sunny morning. Daddy Pig is driving to work in his car. Breakfast time, Goldie. Mummy Pig is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, Goldie isn't eating. Oh, maybe she's not feeling very well. Let's phone Dr Hamster the vet. Dr Hamster the vet speaking. Hello, Dr Hamster. Goldie the fish is not eating. And she looks sad. No, oh, you better bring Goldie to see me right away. Oh, Daddy took the car. How do we get to the vet? We can take the bus. Oh, goody! <laughs> this is the bus stop. The timetable says the next bus will be here at ten o'clock. What time is it now? Ten o'clock. Hooray! <laughs> How many tickets? One mummy ticket and two little piggies. And one fish, please. The fish goes free. <laughs> Hold tight! Mr Bull is waiting for the bus. Moo! One ticket to the music shop, please. Hello, Mr Bull. We're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, dear. Feeling poorly, are we, Goldie? She can't talk. She's a fish. Of course. Uh, maybe she'd like to hear a tune on my tuba. <laughs> it sounds funny. That's why I'm going to the music shop to get it mended. Ooh. Mrs Sheep, Mrs Cat, Mr Zebra and Madam Gazelle have got on the bus. A hot four tickets to the supermarket, please. Madam Gazelle, we're taking Goldie to the vet. Oh, is Goldie not well? She likes you. <laughs> the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. <laughs> The vet helps sick pets get better. Oh, is this the sad little fish that won't eat? Yes. Watch this. Goldie has eaten the food. Oh, she didn't eat at home. Maybe Goldie was bored at home. The interesting journey has cheered her up. Oh. You have a very healthy, happy fish. She's lovely. Thank you, Dr. Hamster. Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George are going home on the bus. Mr. Bull is going home with his mended tuba. It's as good as new! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle and her friends are going home with their shopping. I see Goldie the fish is happy again. Yes. It was the bus ride that made her better. The fish in the bowl swims round and round, round and round, round and round. The fish in the bowl swims round and round all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, where have you been? We took Goldie to the vet and now she's better. <coughs> oh dear, Goldie has a cough. <coughs> I think we should take Goldie to the vet again tomorrow. I can drive you in the car. No, Daddy. We want to go on the bus. It's fun. OK. We'll go on the bus. <laughs> Everyone loves going on the bus, especially Goldie the fish. Delphine Donkey. Hello. Daddy Pig speaking. Monsieur Pig. Come on, Tallyvoo. Oh, something's wrong with the phone. You see, the phone's talking nonsense. Hello, come on, Tallyvoo. Hello, Monsieur. Est-ce que Delphine peut rester pour un jour? Oui. Elle vient juste de prendre le train. Au revoir. That was Monsieur Donkey. He was speaking French. Ah, 
I thought as much. <laughs> Mummy, what did Monsieur Donkey say? He asked if little Delphine Donkey could visit us. Oh, goody. Delphine Donkey is Peppa's very special friend from France. Delphine's coming to practice talking English with us. Hooray! We'd better hurry. Delphine's train is arriving any minute. Bonjour means hello in French. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour, Mr. Donkey. My goodness, is that huge case for Delphine? Yes, Delphine has brought a few little things for her visit. Things you do not have over here. Cheese, bread, tomatoes, water. <laughs> Au revoir, Delphine. I will be back to pick you up tomorrow night. Where shall I put Delphine's luggage? In my room, at the very top of the house. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this luggage is for one night's stay? Oh, yes. That is why I only pack a little bag. Oh. Now, Delphine is here to practice talking English, so we must all help her. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> First, I must say sorry. I do not speak English very well. You don't speak too badly. You are very kind, Monsieur Pig. But may I ask you a question about talking English? Of course. <laughs> I'm an expert at talking. Ask away. Are English split infinitives a form of irregular verb or past pronoun? Uh... Actually, it's quite late. Shall we set up Delphine's bed? Mummy! Mummy! Can Delphine sleep in my bed with a pillow at each end? Good idea, Peppa. Peppa and Delphine are sleeping at each end of the same bed. <laughs> <laughs> now, children, try to go to sleep. You've got a busy day tomorrow. Delphine is visiting your playgroup. Wow! Dormez bien. Dormez bien is French for sleep well. I'm not sleepy at all. <laughs> Let's sing a little song to make us sleepy. Yes! <coughs> Frère Jacques, Frère Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous, sonnez le matin. Delphine's pretty French song has sent everyone to sleep. Ding, ding, ding. Delphine has come to visit Peppa's playgroup. <coughs> Madam Gazelle, this is my French friend, Delphine Donkey. Bonjour. Ah, bonjour, Delphine. Delphine sang a pretty French song last night. Can we teach her an English song? How about the Bing Bong song? Yes, sing me this Bing Bong song. It would be good for my English. OK. We're playing a tune and we're singing a song with a bing and a bong and a bing. Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Bong, bing, boo! Bing, bong, bing! Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo! Good. I have learned lots of new English words. Bing, bong, bingly, bangly, boo! <laughs> <laughs> Shake, rattle and bang! Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. Today, children, we are going to learn about instruments that you shake, rattle and bang. Hooray! First, choose an instrument each from the music room. <laughs> I've got drums. They are called bongo drums, Danny. You bang them with your hands like this. <laughs> I've got a flat bongo drum. That is a boran. It is Irish. You beat it with a little stick like this. I've got a tambourine. Very good, Pedro. You can also shake it like this. Ooh. I've got a big drum. Ah, the bass 
drum. Meow. I don't know what this is called, but it's scrapey. That candy is called a Kiro, and it comes all the way from South America. Wow! How did it get here? I brought it back from my holiday. What are these? They are maracas. I brought them back from my holiday in Spain. This is a triangle. My dad sells these in boxes of ten. Thank you, Freddy. I will remember that. You don't need to go on holiday to get them. Thank you. <coughs> what are these? These are castanets. My dad sells them in boxes of five. Thank you, Freddy. Olé! That is how you play the castanets. Here you are, Emily. Do I have to do the dance? <laughs> no, just make the clickety-clack noise. <laughs> ah, I see Rebecca has cymbals. Yes. <laughs> now you know what your instruments sound like. We can play them all together. Ready? Steady, go! Stop, stop. Stop! That is not music. That is just noise. Anybody can bang, bang, bang. But to make music, you have to listen to each other and keep in time. Madam Gazelle, I can't listen and do music. Can you clap? Yes. If you can clap, you can make music. All the girls, please copy me. Now, boys. Madam Gazelle has made the clapping into music. And stop. <laughs> now we will learn how to play our instruments together. Meow. The parents have come to pick up the children. Ah, you're just in time. May I present the Shake, Rattle and Bang Orchestra? Hooray! Children, ready, steady, go! Bravo! Perhaps some of my old pupils would like to join in too. Find your instruments, children. Yes, yes Madam Gazelle. Madam Gazelle used to teach all the mummies and daddies when they were little. It's quite hard, Daddy, but you do it like this. Let me see if I've got that right. Daddy, you can play the drums. I am a bit of an expert at drumming. That's good shake, rattle and banging. Now for a tune. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Peppa and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Oink, 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 oink,
Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. <coughs> Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. <coughs> How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. <coughs> Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny, if you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs>